OpenSSL is my favorite tool for interacting with SSL certificates. And with a few quick tips and tricks, we'll have it running in no time in your PowerShell terminal. Let's get started by installing the OpenSSL Lite package with Choco install. Now that we've installed OpenSSL in any dependencies, we can start customizing our environment to really make OpenSSL shine in the PowerShell terminal. The first thing we'll do is create a dedicated directory for our certificates and certificate related files. This makes it easy to make sure you're well organized and that you have the appropriate permissions applied, especially to your private keys. Next, the standard installation of OpenSSL doesn't come with a configuration file. So let's get a nice template file from MIT and download it to our certs directory. We can open up the configuration file in any text editor and take a look. Now, the OpenSSL configuration file is vast and has lots of options. My approach is always to edit things when I need to. To get started, this configuration should work great for you, but if you need more details, look at the OpenSSL config man page. The next thing we want to do to make our lives a little easier is to update a couple environment variables. One approach to do this is in our PowerShell profile script. Now there's other ways to do it, but the reason I like to use the profile script is because it's easy to change, especially if I'm using different versions of OpenSSL. In addition, I'm doing all my OpenSSL work in PowerShell anyway, so having it as a global variable doesn't really help me much. The PowerShell profile is just a collection of scripts that run each time you launch PowerShell. If you don't have one already, you can create it. So then the first environment variable we're gonna modify is our path variable and we'll add the OpenSSL bin directory. This means no matter where we are in the file system, whether we're at C Windows System 32 or in our home directories, we can call the OpenSSL command. The next thing we'll do is we'll set a default OpenSSL configuration path, and we'll point it to the OpenSSL config we downloaded from MIT a few moments ago. This makes it so each time you run an OpenSSL command, you don't have to specify what config to use. We can view the changes in our profile by opening it up in a text editor. And we can see we've appended those two commands to our profile. If you were to close PowerShell and reopen it, those variables would be updated. Or we can just dot source our profile. And then we can take a look at the values of our path. And we can see the C program files OpenSSL bin directory has been added to the end of our path. And the OpenSSL config variable is pointing to the default OpenSSL config file. Now the hard work's done and we can start enjoying using OpenSSL. So let's test it quickly by running the OpenSSL version command. And we can see we're running OpenSSL 1.1.1. One issue you can run into when using an integrated scripting environment like PowerShell ISC is that it doesn't handle follow-up input well. So for example, if I were to run this OpenSSL request command, the terminal hangs waiting for some input. So I'll hit Control C to get out. One trick to get around this is to use the start process command as a wrapper for our OpenSSL commands. And we'll do that by setting our arguments as a variable, then running start process, the OpenSSL command, and the list of our arguments. Now it'll pop up the CMD window and take our input. Congratulations, you're ready to get used in OpenSSL in the PowerShell terminal. Thank you for watching.